Hello, hello, Pursuing Riders. Hello, what is going on today? Today is a great day for a little knowledge check and just uploading some videos for y'all. It's been a long time no see. Hello to my subscribers and also my apprentices. Um, if you are new to my channel, let me just introduce myself right quick, y'all. Let me introduce myself right quick. My name is Lady Basori, AKA Mama Source. And I am the owner and the operator of a spiritual online botanica called Visions by Basori. Um, I offer everything in the occult. And just a quick message for anyone inquiring about my client works and or my services or my apprenticeship. Um, please message me in my shop is 704-284-9898. It's the best way to reach me. Um, lightly going over my client works. If you would like for me to do any works for you at this time, if you call my shop, um, you would need to book a consultation for guidance. If you book a consultation for guidance and then you turn around and book work, that fee will be credited to your work, to your client works. If you are interested in my apprenticeship program, hey to all of my apprentices, but if you are interested in my apprenticeship program, it is available on Patreon. It is a private group setting, um, very like a healing. It's all about hoodoo and it's all about spiritual growth. So guys, that is on Patreon and it is also linked in the bio. Let's talk about what we are doing on today. The lesson for today is on um, spiritual healing. Spiritual healing. You have to, in, in order to reach what you want to your goals, you have to be able to heal, okay? You have to be able to heal. And it's all in spirituality. Uh, attuning to your ancestors, doing your ritual work. Baby, it is an everyday practice for me. And for my apprenticeship with spiritual healing, it is a step um, a person takes in life when they are ready. Okay. It is a wonderful journey as well. That can be approached in many different ways, many different paths, many different callings, but the desired outcome is always the same. Y'all to be happy, healthy, and to create life from a mindset that is spiritual. Y'all. Healing with the mind can be helpful up to a point, but eventually we must include the spiritual aspect to truly heal, to truly heal. It is our spirit and our soul that must integrate um, information from our minds to make sense of our own world and our own happiness. Okay. What I love may not be what you love but you it's your desire it's your happiness because if you think about it and we cannot heal on that level nothing when i say nothing will be permanent and the mind will always break down you'll always have torment you'll always continue running for things that you will no way no way catch how do you know if you are ready for spiritual healing how do you know this i'm gonna give you guys a couple of things um, or signs that a spiritual healing is on the horizon. Okay. You have been going to therapy, ther therapy regularly, and it is no longer working for you. Um, you may just feel like there is something more you aren't getting to, um, from myself, I had to go talk to someone. She led me to the direction of what my problem was. Although my healing perspective perspective is totally different, and it may be different from for everybody, I always say that I am grateful for that therapist that readied me for a deeper healing experience. It connected with my mom. It connected with pain from love. Um, let me tell y'all something. Therapy can get to the things in this lifetime that have occurred, created problems in your life and it also makes you aware of what you need to heal generational traumas love broken heart um 
broken connection with your family. If you have been in therapy and, and you are feeling as if um, you can't control or go any deeper with it, it may be the time to seek out a spiritual counselor as myself, okay? It, it's that time. Um, or you may be able to channel or be intuitive with your ancestors that can guide your healing beneath the surface of your mind, okay? You got to heal your mind. If you are having spiritual um, experiences that you can't explain, but you are afraid a therapist might diagnose you with a mental illness or because that's a different wavelength. I am not saying mental illness doesn't exist because it does. It's a certain thing as spiritual psychosis, but it does um, mean that it may be an imbalance that is occurring because your inner world is opening and you you don't have the proper guidance from from a therapist this is where a spiritual teacher or a healer comes into play okay i have said this before and i will say it again and again um when a person shows a mental imbalance or has a psychotic break i feel as though they are taken um sometimes to what we call your local worker or your local shaman to be worked with and they are guided into their own healing path in their abilities and this is my calling this is what i do as a spiritual worker now this is not the case for everyone of course believe it or not some people want to connect with their ancestors. Some people want a spiritual healing. But for those that are finding that their answers cannot be answered by the more mundane approaches, it is time to seek out spiritual healing. It changed my life, y'all. It did. If you have always been interested in spiritual things, but... Now it is like screaming at you and you can't ignore it as if you are a moth to a flame. The good old desire is calling. This is your soul or your tribe or your ancestors calling on you, telling you, baby, it's time. Even if everything else seems to be quite all right, but you have a burning in your desire to explore spiritual things. There's nothing wrong with you. It is probably that time for you to seek out a spiritual healing. It is. I have only found this case to be in maybe the 10% of people that come to me for a healing. But it is worth noting because it does happen. And it prompts you to listen to your call. It's trying to open up to you. Your third eye is trying to open up. Your ancestors are trying to reach you. Because one thing I know, y'all, unhappiness and depression doesn't go away. It doesn't. If you find you are unhappy no matter what you do, this is another type of soul calling. And that's where I was. Something isn't right deep down and you know it. And if you try everything and there is still... Still, a constant state of unhappiness, a constant state of, of no growth in your life. It's time to seek out a spiritual healer. Okay? Now, quickly, I'm going to go on a topic right now about myself. Because y'all know I only speak from what done happened to me. I was making the most money I ever made in my life. I wasn't worried about shit. I was in a broken relationship, um, back and forth, in and out type shit. But as far as like um, the money, the goals, I just could not ever grow past that. And I was like, the fuck? Like every year, the same shit. I could pay my bills, yes, but I knew it was something else. And I just wasn't happy, y'all. 
I was depressed. I was unhappy. I, I just, I just could not find what I needed to find in order to just be me and be happy with everything that I was doing. And when I found that first book, and I also found that first person on YouTube, and I was like, wait a minute. I started watching people. I started like understanding what the fuck, you know, like what? And I started opening up. I started reading. I started knowing my power. I started putting shit in perspective. I started cutting shit off. I started cutting energy, um, low vibrational energetic ties. I cut people, places, things. And I started stripping, stripping away all that pain, all that hurt. I started pulling it out of me. And then the calling came. You are a healer. You are supposed to teach. And here I am. You're supposed to guide. And here I am. Okay? So that is me. It opened up a path of light. Oh my God. Clearness. I don't have to do that. You don't have to take that. Bitch, you tried it like that. For real. Okay? So within that moment, y'all, um, when I seek my spiritual healing, I was more of the person that... um. I was more of that person that was quiet within my call. I tended to watch videos. I had several people I watched that helped me uncover what I needed to uncover. These people I still follow. Some people done, I done ate from the plate and then be like, okay, I done outgrew them, but they helped me grow. You know what I'm saying? And then I opened my apprenticeship. I stayed, I, I, I mean, I've been doing this for years. And it took me two years to heal. It took me two years to find my spiritual calling. That's how long it took. Because I kept going back to the shit that pained me. And that's what we do wrong. You will heal, you get halfway there, and then that person or a thing knocks on your door and you go right back to the, to the, uh, to the problem. Then you got to start all the way over. Then you, you, they knock on the door, you go right back to the problem. And this is starting over the definition of insanity. Okay? Um, also, with a death, let's talk about death. The death of a loved one that is close to you can also often open you to um, the world of spirits. Even if you had not been interested in it before. Me. My grandmother just passed in January and I see Cardinals and I see her and I think of her all the time. You may find yourself really wanting answers to where they went, why it happened that way, or where you are left afterward now that they're gone. Um, a death can also bring up grief about your entire life. It can bring all that up too. Um, and get you thinking and processing things from many years, many, many years ago. You will process that shit and get rid of it, y'all. Dreams. Let's talk about dreams. Dreams is another way that you are ready for your healing. Dreams tell us a lot of things and it also helps us to process life in general. Some people I get, I got me a dream book. Now me, often... What I say, a dream will occur over and over again to get us to pay attention to our spirit world. If you're having the same dream over and over again, it is telling you something, okay? If you have a very active dream world and it is guiding you to seek out um, some of what you experience in your outer world, you may also find yourself... Um, listening to the directions of a dream i am not a big dreamer i don't really dream i just know that a lot of my people up under me tell me they have dreams i have a lot of clients tell me they found me or one of my metaphysical um things that i do because they dreamed about it i had one say she just looked up she had a dream and my name popped up that happens Let's talk about divorce. 
I can admit to that. My first divorce, this is another life passage that will bring you to your knees and eventually to a healer. That's myself. Divorce. Pain. Divorce is very simil similar to a death. Y'all, once that relationship is over, many people that I speak to want to find themselves um, and dig deeper than their old relationship would allow them to. Okay? That makes sense. Divorce is big when um, my clients come into my work and they want to find their spiritual calling. It's divorce and pain usually. Seeking out a one-on-one -on -one healing or a class is wonderful after or during this transition. I have an apprenticeship. I also do classes that you can purchase in my shop for different things. Just attune to your own desire. Another thing is a mystery illness. Now, nothing says spiritual healing like a mystery illness. Your body will send you whispers as if you don't listen. It will scream in the form of an illness. Now, all illnesses is a result of something far deeper than we can imagine from the surface level, okay? If you are facing a physical illness that, um, that you don't have a cure for or an answer to, it is time for a spiritual healing. It is. We often hear healers such as myself creating miracles. They all have always been told I have healing hands. Um, and sometimes this happens. However, though, in seeking out healing for a, a um, incurable illness, it's not always practical. It's not always about the physical. It's not. We create contracts, soul contracts with ourselves before birth. Okay? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? And sometimes an illness is a part of that. You need to seek out the healing you need without expectation. You need to seek out the healing that you need without expectation. It is only the divine that decides on our miracles. It decides on our desires. Do be open to that, of course, too. But do not expect to have a healer lay hands on you and want lay, lay it on you once and be done with it. You still must learn the lesson of what your disease is trying to tell you. You still got to learn the lesson of what that disease is trying to teach you. Okay? Y'all expect miracles. Like I can put my hands on something and boop, it's like layers. I always tell my people, I have your spiritual uh, interest and in, best interest in heart. You have to do the physical work as well as the mental work on this. It's not instant, it's layers. Remember, y'all, it took me two years. And if you keep backsliding and not doing the things a, that I tell you or the healer tells you or the doctor tells you or your, your gods or your ancestors tell you, you're going to always fail. Okay? If you have um, been working with spiritual things for fun or on the surface and you feel you want more out of your practice, this is another thing. This is another good reason to seek out spiritual healing, y'all. For real. It calls to you. It will. Now, often a person is attracted to this world for other reasons. They might be attracted to it for receiving psychic readings um, or they enjoy meditation but have never really sought out um, the deeper healing side of spirituality. Um, if you're doing that, this walk will eventually be, become boring to you and you will either put it all away 
or you will decide that you want more out of this spiritual thing okay this is very familiar to me i stopped and started several times until i said hell no after that divorce and heartbreak this is a reason to seek out spiritual healing don't just put it down you knew that you love divination you love the walk do the work now my question is how exactly can you go about the healing process how people ask me this all the time how do i heal like i said earlier there are many ways to do this many ways one may be to go to a set of classes that focus on the personal healing side um Meaning not to heal others, but to heal yourself. And this is my apprenticeship. I give you that. You got to heal yourself. If you hit not healed and you hexing, you're doing the wrong shit. Another would be to seek out a private teacher, with such as myself or a healer, that can help you in one-on-one -on -one sessions, okay? I don't usually do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do a group because I have a private group, okay? But... I am available in my messaging to all of my apprentices at any time with any questions, any issues. Um, Zoom seminars are great healing too as well. I offer those as well. Um, ultimately, it comes down to you facing your healing head on um, your healing head of what you like to do. Down the road, you can also continue your own path on your own. But I always say stick with someone, stick with someone, stick under someone until you are ready to float within your calling. Again, y'all, it took me two years. Two. Two. And that's of constant. I'm not even talking about the, the, the times where I started and stopped, started and stopped. Two years was a constant healing phase for me. Constant. There's not a day goes by that I don't work on me right now in this moment, even as I am a healed version of myself. Okay, so those are some quick things to know if you are ready for spiritual healing in your life right now. Um, guys, that is all I have. That is as deep as I can go unless you come to my apprenticeship and be up under somebody and allow yourself to be healed through hoodoo, okay? Please make sure you like, subscribe, support, and share my channel. When I tell y'all, it is greatly appreciated. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload new videos. Also, go check out my website. It's visionsbibasori.com for any of your spiritual needs. All of my links are listed in the bio. Again, um, I'm blowing blessings of abundance your way times 10 guys uh my hoodoo spiritual um apprenticeship is called it's only on patreon but we do have a private facebook group all right blessings y'all i hope this helps somebody along the way peace <laughs>